Miss Switzerland finalist is strangled and pureed in a blender by her husband. I thought it was her boyfriend. My bad. Killer used a jigsaw and garden shears to dismember victim. That's kind of crazy, man. Also, when you look at just his eyes, he looks kind of crazy, man. A feline named JJ. Thank you for the three month three sub, my guy. Thank you. You saw this on Twitter. <laughs> Buddy was determined. Yeah, it's like, that's crazy. A former Miss Switzerland finalist was allegedly strangled and dismembered. How do you put allegedly in the front of that? With a jigsaw and garden shears before being pureed in a blender by her husband. The body of 38-year-old model Christina Joksimovic was found in February in Bennigan near Basel in Switzerland. Her husband, who was only named by pseudonym Thomas in local media, 41, had an appeal for release from custody rejected today by the federal court in Lausanne after admitting to having killed his wife. So why, why is the allegedly here, you know? Like, I just... An ongoing investigation concluded today that there were concrete indications of mental illness underlying the case. You don't say. Christina's husband is reported to have claimed he killed her in self-defense after she came at him with a knife. He then reportedly said he dismembered the ex-model with whom he has two children in a panic. I feel like she is noodly enough that if she came at you with a knife, you could probably just like, I don't know, punch her in the face. And you know, that'd, that'd be the end of that, right? Like, I, I, you didn't need to dismember her and blend her. You could have You could have just kind of stopped it, right? Man who blended woman. Totally normal. It's either force of journalist habit or there's still legal proceedings going on. I mean, maybe. Usually, usually when there's a confession, you can drop the allegedly, right? Uh, Don LeBlaze, thank you for the two. He looks like he ate a person. He's built. Yeah, like, there's no... In no world uh, could I imagine. Like, look at how big his hand is, dude. He's massive. Next time on Will It Blend? Jesus Christ. Christina's body was found on the evening of February 13th. Investigators determined that Christina had been strangled before she died. If he chopped her up and then blended parts of her, how did, how did, what, how much body was there to find? And how did they determine that she was strangled? That's what I want to know. The verdict states the suspect confessed to strangling his wife. An autopsy concluded that the body was then dismembered in the laundry room with a jigsaw, knife, and garden shears. Body parts were then chopped up with a hand blender, pureed, and dissolved in a chemical solution. Bro. Bro, there's no way you can even claim that you panicked and that's why you dismembered her when you went through the effort of hand blending her and then pureeing her and then dissolving the rest in a chemical solution. No one is going to believe that you did all of that in a fucking panic, dude. Ain't no way. This dude went the extra mile. This was personal, man. He hated that bitch. He hated her. Holy shit. Did he have a sister named Ashley? Who even has that on hand ready to go after hand blending a corpse? I just, there's no way, dude. A medical forensic report also contradicts his description of self-defense, according to Swiss outlet FM1 Today. Thomas, who is a Swiss national, Swiss by the way, was reportedly arrested a day after her remains were found by a third party. How do you go through all the effort that he did to try and get rid of the body, and then he manages to put it somewhere where it's easily findable? Like, I just... What? Friends expressed their shock at the news, and one told Blick as the news broke, to me, they seemed like the perfect family. The couple, who got married in 2017, lived overlooking scenic views from a spacious, semi-detached house in an affluent area of Basel, 20 Minuten reported. See, this part, the to me, they seemed like the perfect family, I don't know who he is, right? But she, as like a Miss Switzerland uh, person, as a very public figure, if they were both public figures, that's even more reason to keep all of their weird shit locked in at home, you know? Uh, so, uh, like, pu public figures have every reason to try and keep any sort of negativity and fighting and whatever I'm at sorry home. I'm sorry that I got fisted so hard it fucked up my stream. I'm sorry I got fisted. Thank you, Machinus Golden Gear, for the 15 gift subs, my dude. Thank you! Thank you for the 15 fucking gift subs! Thank you! Those two kids are gonna have a tough time with the teasing and bullying of others talking about how their father blended their mother. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be fucking rough. Howdly doodly, champion, the diddly doodler, thank you for the two. You think it'd work if you said a ninja did it? I feel like that would be more believable than self-defense at this point. You just looked up Jigsaw, you used one of those in tech in high school, you made a cardboard chair for your project? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've never seen, like, specifically what a Jigsaw looks like. That's gonna be some insane bullying, unfortunately. Sergeant Buck, thank you for the ten. Your Honor, I panicked and rented a wood chipper. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, another said the relationship had been in crisis for months, with police allegedly called out beforehand over reports of physical violence. Just four weeks before she would killed, Christina had posted pictures of the couple's getaway on her Instagram account, showing the snowy landscape from the window of a luxurious hotel above Lake Lucerne. It's butt time? Investigators have said Thomas, a businessman, showed a conspicuously high level of criminal energy in their assessment. Wait, wait, what? What is that? What is a conspicuously high level of criminal energy? What are the- are these investigators, like, fucking astrology crystal girlfriends? Like, what- what does that mean? A big criminal energy. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the two. You think he meant he did it with a ninja? Oh, ninja is in the blender. Ninja's not a hand blender. They consorted with the criminal crystals. <laughs> Potato King, thank you for the two. Will it blend? Anthony, thank you for the five. Come on, if you're gonna go crazy and blend your wife, at least take a sip of the smoothie. He hasn't said that he didn't, right? <clears throat> they cited a lack of empathy and cold-bloodedness after killing his wife, and his efforts to cover up her death, adding that the defendant had sadistic sociopathic traits. Well, I mean, you literally said a sentence ago that he was a businessman, so... Sadistic sociopathic traits kind of come with that territory. It's like how if you ever find anyone with a, a like, masters in finance, they're a sociopath. A hundred percent. I don't need to know any more about the person than that they have an MBA to know that they're a sociopath. Because you cannot survive in the finance industry unless you lack empathy for everyone. Takes a sip. It's what she would have wanted. Jesus Christ. Prosecutors say that the defendant had previously strangled his wife before killing her. Christina, a Binigan native with Serbian roots, had reportedly switched from modeling to become a catwalk coach, inspiring the next generation. Among other things, she trained Miss Switzerland candidates to follow in her footsteps. She also trained businesswomen for walking confidently in their professional or private lives. She had won the Miss Northwest Switzerland pageant in 2003 and went on to be a finalist in the 2008 Miss Switzerland competition. That same year, she founded a coaching and consulting agency for aspiring models while still working full-time in IT recruitment. Many Swiss celebrities and fellow former Miss Switzerland contestants shared their shock over Christina's death back in February. Oh man, we're just hearing about this now, but it happened in February. Goddamn. Lorena Santin, who was crowned Miss Switzerland in 2023, was one of Christina's catwalk students. And she said, we will miss you so much. Former Miss Switzerland, Christina Ragozzi, told 20 Minuten in February, It's terrible. I'm really shocked. I'm thinking of her two daughters. She was such a beautiful and kind-hearted woman. Swiss actress and TV presenter Miriam Rickley, who was in Miss Switzerland's final alongside Christina, said after her friend was found dead, I'm just speechless. Nadine Vinzes, Miss Switzerland 2002, was friends with Christina and told now.ch, I knew her well and I met him briefly. I'm totally shocked and heartbroken. Never in my life would I have thought something like this would happen. I don't want to, like, belittle people who are grieving chat, but whenever I, like, read the statements from people who knew people in an article that I'm reading about, they all sound the same. Like, they all say the same things. So it's it's just like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is me being like jaded to all the shit that I read. Why is like, it sounds, it sounds like just like NPC dialogue where they're like, oh, friend, beautiful, kind, I'm shocked, I'm speechless. Like they all sound the same. I'm shocked and saddened when I learned about what happened, yeah. Yo, you were just thinking it all sounds the same. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. We do live in a simulation. I was like, I, I can understand being absolutely speechless. Like, I get it, man. I've said that before, too. But it's just like, it seems like it's the same thing every article. You gotta learn your cliches. 
Oh my god. Uh, she added in a comment under Christina's last social media post, I'm so heartbroken. You were such a good and nice person. I will not ever forget the time in LA Close with you. the fucking tabs, you psychopath. Rip my beauty. You think they intentionally leave out the juicy responses? I mean... I don't know, man. It's a very, very sad and shocking... Uh, it is very, very sad and shocking what has happened. I'm also so incredibly sorry for the children. Swiss model and former Miss Switzerland Dominique Rinterknecht told Now. In the lead-up to her 2013 Miss Universe competition, Rinterknecht received catwalk training by Christina and shared their progress on YouTube, garnering half a million clicks. Model Andrea Brotschi, uh, who also participated in a Switch pageant, also, I can't say Swiss in a sentence, man, also paid tribute to her friend. I am so sad and shocked we just saw each other. You were such a good-hearted, kind, intelligent, great human. Why? Chris, thank you for everything. And this is just more people talking. The best part is when they mix up the cliches. There's this one dumb sports ball player who was interviewed and he said, well, it was a team effort and I'm just glad to share the field with those fine gentlemen. What the fuck? Really? What the fuck? You think he took a sip? He had to do a lot of blending. I imagine it must have come across his mind. There's no way he didn't. There's no way he didn't take a sip, dude. No way. I just got really confused. I was scrolling up and I thought this was Ben Shapiro in like some weird women's lingerie. Holy fuck. <laughs> like you can't tell me that doesn't look like Ben Shapiro in the thumbnail. All right, okay? I'm not crazy. <laughs> Crud Muffin, thank you for the two. Worst cup of Swiss Miss ever. Let's, let me, let me click on, maybe if I click on it. Oh, that. What? Why does this look like it was taken 15 years ago? Oh, here it is. Okay, it is, it is just Katy Perry. Okay. <laughs> Why is he only in his underwear? The video began with the Roar hitmaker sharing a kiss who resembles her fiance Orlando Bloom as they held hands while hurtling towards the ground. What the fuck is this? What, <laughs> what am I even looking at? <laughs> 15 years ago was the last time Katy Perry looked okay. No, I mean, not like that. It just looks like not something I would see in current year with the clothes she's wearing, the location they're doing this in. The like completely nude Tarzan guy, you know? Is this music videos in current year? I guess. I'm his queen, I'm his freak, I'm every woman he wants and needs. Okay, well, I mean, fair. Fair. All right, true, true and fair. I guess it's for a music video. I'm his, he's mine. Okay, yeah, it's a music video. <laughs> the lighting and the- Yeah, it just, it just looks like it's from an old music video and not a new one. She's his bitch, she's his lover. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't she married? Well, they did They did mention that the guy in the video purposefully looks like her fiancé, Orlando Bloom. Yeah. Who resembles her fiancé, Orlando Bloom. I don't know. I don't- I don't typically read celebrity shit. <laughs> the background looks kind of fake because of the lighting. I mean... I, I don't know, man. It could be. This doesn't- this doesn't look like lettering on a American street, you know? She's married to Legolas. Engaged. Engaged. It's code for I didn't actually talk to them, but I want to be on TV. What did he mean by this? Is she doing that while having a fiancé? That's, that's what celebrities got to do, right? Like, if you're in a movie and you're doing a sex scene, there's so many celebrities who have to do that when they have, like, a like a wife. They don't actually have sex. They're just kind of, like, naked. And they kind of simulate it because they're actors, right? That's just... That's just... I feel like it's a little different, right, when you're- when you're an actor, uh, when you do things that are just acting. Simulating making whoopee. Yeah, it's- it's a little different. Most of them don't do it specifically to replace their husband in the music video. I, maybe he had to sing in the video? I don't know. Does Orlando Bloom sing and dance? I just- I don't know anything about him. All actors are swingers? I hope not. <laughs> I know, I know, I know there's a lot of, uh, like, celebrity marriages typically aren't built to last, right? Like, they don't, they don't tend to last very long. So maybe, uh, maybe that's part of the reason why. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs>